Hi, welcome to Total Recovery 2020, your set time to bounce back with me, Reverend Seth Amir Dankwa. Yesterday, we began with a series on the topic dealing with frustrations in business, and we had a look into seven signs of frustrations in our lives and in our businesses. Today, I will be touching on seven effects of frustrations on our lives. First, frustrations affect the home front, that is, the family. Sometimes it results in perpetual anxiety in marriage. Two, disenchantment, internal frustration, despair, and feeling like closing down the business sets in. If it is your personal life, you begin to feel given up in life. Frustrations have pushed so many business owners to commit even suicide. In the same way, it has affected so many lives, so many people to even commit suicide, to end it all. Sometimes you notice more testimonies of unanswered prayers than before. So you will begin to feel that your prayers are not being answered or have not been answered. That is one of the effects of frustration in our lives. The fourth is anxiety which determines and detects the direction that our lives take or the business takes. While the business person loses control so sometimes you seem to lose control it's like a vehicle that has pounced on something that has lost its control on the road so you either move left or right and sometimes it ends you in a ditch the fifth thing that i want to share with you about the effects of frustration in our lives and in our businesses is that sometimes the business takes the center stage of our lives but the business person goes into oblivion you have been thinking about the business you you've been focusing you've been concentrating but you yourself as a person are in oblivion you are not sure whether what you are doing will succeed. That is one of the effects of frustration in our lives. The next thing that I'm going to share with you, which is the sixth point, is that the mind of the businessman is sometimes taken captive by the circumstances till the person cannot properly assess the problem that he or she is facing. It means that the business or the situation has consumed you. And so the center cannot hold any longer and things fall apart. The seventh point that I want to share with you is that the negative situation of the business arena takes the men captive. To the point that even sometimes you become the prophet of your situation. So you speak for the situation around you, but all your speech becomes negative. So you speak negativity about the business about that situation because you are frustrated and nothing seems to be working but i assure you do not give up you need to press on keep on and you will definitely come out of it till i come your way tomorrow with another episode this has been your humble servant, Reverend Seth Amir Adankwa, Total Recovery 2020, your set time.
to bounce back. Shalom.